and you have a hard time, folks. Some days the words just get you. This is one of them. It's a contrived, a contrived contingency. I'm resting like this because I'm just exhausted. I'm done trying to explain to people that there's no difference between a contrived setting and a natural setting. Why? Because a contrived setting is just a natural setting in a contrived environment. We're in a training environment, whatever you want to say. It's just not natural. But it is, because everything's natural. Why? Because it's all in nature, and I just, I get sad, and I'm like, eh, nobody gets it. They're just like, yeah, we're different than nature. No, you're not. You are nature. So is that camera. Um, and I will defend that to my dying day to anyone that doesn't know the better. Uh, any better. <laughs> Contrived contingencies, folks. It's ones that you make up. Independent of the natural ones? God, see, I just can't, I can't do it. It's like, it's a training stimulus, uh, you know. Brad would probably do something like, I want you to do this, and he'll drop a reinforcer on me every now and again. That's very contrived. Um, he's trying to get me to engage in certain behaviors, and eventually he's going to fade out his training, and he's going to hopefully have my behavior generalized to the real world, the natural world, because the part of the world isn't natural. I just, I see how hard I have a time. I just, it just twerks me off. That's why I have my head on a coffee cup, to demonstrate something contrived. So, I don't know. Contrived contingencies, the ones that you set up in your training and your interventions, you try to fade those out to get them to the real-world contingencies, what we call the natural contingencies. Peace.